For many of us, getting a daily dose of coffee is just part of our routine. For folks in the Wilmington community, that often means a stop at Port City Java. Port City Java was founded here in Wilmington in 1995. Uh, we actually had a little tiny storefront right on Front Street in the historic district. That tiny storefront has expanded to dozens of locations across North Carolina and beyond with hope for more growth in the future. We're going to look at regional growth. We're going to stay in North and South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee perhaps. Um, we really feel that that's where our brand translates the best and where we can keep the best control over it so that we stay true to who we are. Jenny, enjoy. While consumers have many choices when it comes to coffee shops, Port City Java says one of the things that makes them unique is the freshness of their product. What we've maintained uh, is that we're going to roast our coffee ourselves, uh, both conventionally and with organic and fair trade certifications. Uh, we're going to do it on an as-needed basis. Coffee as a product doesn't age well. So uh, our goal is from the minute we finish roasting it to the minute it's in your cup in a store to drink is going to be two weeks or less. All of that coffee is roasted here at Port City Java's Wilmington headquarters. In 2014, the company roasted just under 250,000 pounds of coffee beans. We get coffee from all over the world. What's really fun is it's whatever's interesting to us at the time. Coffee is being harvested throughout the year at different points depending on which country of origin. We will work closely with our relationships and uh, our green coffee importers and sample coffees all the time, detect what we really like in them. And if we like something, we bring it in and, and try something new. All coffee is brought to us as green beans. That's what they're known of in the industry. Basically, it's seed of a fruit, and that's what we roast. The roasting process is really fascinating, actually. You take the seeds of the fruit, you put them in the top of the roaster, you hold them in the hopper. When the roaster gets up to temperature, you drop the green beans in. The drum is tumbling and will perpetually keep moving the coffee beans around. As the heat source, the gas burner underneath, slowly ramps up the, uh, the temperature of the coffee. Once it reaches a desired temperature, say 400, 420 degrees, we'll pull the roast, drop it into a cooling bin where it has a stir arm and then a big fan that cuts on and cools the coffee down to room temperature and say less than four minutes. On any given day, you have a choice of four different brewed coffees that you can have. We have our house blend, which is meant to be a typical good morning cup of coffee, a typical cup of joe, and quite honestly, it's what I drink on a daily basis. Um, and then we offer a decaffeinated coffee for those that I guess kind of have to have that sort of thing. Uh, but in addition to that, we offer a fair trade and organic certified coffee uh, that we roast in a, in a separate facility in the back. Um, and we offer a single origin coffee. Coffee isn't the only offering at Port City Java. Its locations also offer breakfast and lunch items, all which are freshly made. All of our stores bake every day. We don't use just a frozen baked good that we thaw and stick in a case for you. Um, everything that you see in our stores has actually been baked. While Port City Java's roots are in Wilmington, its gradual expansion has included opening store locations and offering products on college campuses across North and South Carolina. Our first university store was at North Carolina State University in Raleigh. They're uh, what's called a self-op school in that they handle their own food service. They're not contracted with a major company like Aramark or something like that. And being a, a North Carolina brand, being a Wilmington brand, was very appealing to NC State University to be able to do something like that rather than work with just national brands. So they sort of, I think, took a, a, a bit of a, a leap of faith on a local company on a, on a small time North Carolina operation uh, and it's worked out really, really well. We actually have seven stores operating on campus at NC State right now. Other college campuses that offer Port City Java products include UNC Wilmington, Cape Fear Community College, Clemson University, High Point University, and Elon University. Ultimately, what Port City Java believes sets them apart from other coffee chains is the focus on their patrons. Southern hospitality is a phrase that gets used an awful lot. It's how we treat our guests. We don't treat them as customers. Uh, guests are people that you want to make feel welcome, relaxed, comfortable, at home. And our goal really is that our guests feel proprietary about us. And what I mean by that, it's a small semantic difference, but if we can get our guests to refer to us as their coffee shop instead of a coffee shop, Small little word change, but it means an awful lot. We're in the relationship business, we just happen to sell great coffee.